human kidneys grown in pig embryos. Chinese scientists have managed to grow pig embryos with human kidneys. This is a big step towards solving the shortage of organs for transplantation. Research on human-animal hybrids has a long history. Although they may seem to be some kind of abomination, they're aimed at the good of science and medicine. These types of chimeras, as in biology are organisms created from genetically different cells from two or more individuals, are created to grow human organs for transplantation. They may also be useful in testing new drugs, in regenerative medicine, and to expand knowledge about development and evolution. In new research, scientists from the Guangzhou Institute of Biomedicine and Health managed to create embryos containing a combination of human and pig cells. After being transferred into female pigs, the embryos began to develop kidneys containing human cells, meaning that the scientists had successfully grown a human organ inside another animal. The description and results of the research were published in the journal, Cell Stem Cell. The researchers focused on the kidneys because they are one of the first organs to develop in the embryo. Additionally, they are the most frequently transplanted organ in humans. Rat organs have already been produced in mice, and mouse organs have been grown in rats. But previous attempts to grow human organs in pigs have failed. Our approach improves the integration of human cells with recipient tissues and allows us to grow human organs in pigs, says LIA Liang Shui, one of the authors of the publication. The research involved creating chimeras of human pig embryos containing a combination of cells from both species. It was shown that when transferred to surrogate pig mothers, they began to develop human kidneys. After 28 days of culture, the kidneys had an identical structure to normally developing kidneys in human embryos. Even though the kidneys had human cells, they were not completely human. They contained vascular systems and nerves made mainly of pig cells, which means they would not be suitable for transplantation. It is unclear whether the challenge of creating a fully human organ in another species would be feasible using current genetic engineering techniques. The main challenge in creating this type of hybrid is that pig cells compete with human cells and there are many more of them. Integrating human stem cells into pig embryos also poses a challenge because pig and human cells have different physiological needs. We have been working on mechanisms to overcome the extremely low effectiveness of interspecies chimeras. We have identified several key factors that help create interspecies chimeras by facilitating cellular competition, says Guangzhen. To overcome these obstacles, the team used the CRISPR-Cas9 gene editing technique to create a special niche in the pig embryo. All this so that human cells do not have to compete with pig cells. Two genes responsible for kidney development were removed from a pig embryo. Then, specially prepared human pluripotent stem cells were added to the embryo. These are cells that have the potential to differentiate into many, but not all, cell types. These cells have been conditioned to make them more capable of integration and less likely to self-destruct by temporarily stopping apoptosis. Then, scientists transformed these cells into the so-called a naive state resembling early human embryonic cells. Before chimera embryos were implanted into pig surrogate mothers, they were grown in test tubes containing substances that nourish human and pig cells. In total, researchers transferred 1,820 embryos to 13 surrogate mothers. 
pregnancy was terminated after 25 and 28 days to assess the effectiveness of the experiment. The researchers took five embryos for analysis, two developing for 25 days and three for 28 days, and found that they had structurally normal kidneys for that stage of development. They even formed tubules and cell buds that would eventually become the ureters connecting the kidney to the bladder. Since organs are not made up of just one cell line, to get an organ where everything comes from humans, we would probably have to engineer pigs in a much more complex way, which also brings additional challenges, says senior study author Miguel A. Esteban of Institutes of Biomedicine and Health in Guangzhou. The team also investigated whether human cells implanted in the embryo contribute to the construction of other tissues which could have ethical implications, especially if human cells were detected in the tissues. The researchers showed that human cells were located mainly in the kidneys, while the rest of the embryo consisted mainly of pig cells. However, human cells have also been found outside the kidneys. We observed only very few human nerve cells in the embryo's brain and spinal cord. We did not see any human cells in the genitals, which indicates that the specially prepared human pluripotent stem cells did not differentiate into embryonic cells, says Zhen Dai, one of the study's authors. Now that optimal conditions have been created for growing kidneys in human pig chimeras, the team wants to allow the kidneys to develop longer. Researchers are also working to create other human organs in pigs, including a heart and pancreas. The long-term goal is to optimize this technology for obtaining organs for transplantation. However, scientists admit that there are still many challenges ahead and further research.